We're going to cut a three-piece elbow. Three-piece elbows are used a lot in low-pressure systems and don't require turning vanes. We're going to be using this, these tools right over here, and we're going to cut it out of a piece of straight duck. This can be done on the job site without any problems at all. So let me get this piece out of the way. <clears throat> this is a template I used to cut this elbow. It's actually 22 and a half degrees on each side. When you cut them 22 and a half degrees and turn them around and push them back together, they make a 45. And two of them 45s makes a 90 degree elbow. I'm gonna come in nine inches and start the fitting. Put a mark right there. Then I, I get this template set in place and hold it over here on this side and then draw a line from that side of the duct back across to here. Leave four inches and come back across the duct this way. <clears throat> now as we turn this duct over, I'm gonna mark these edges so, so I can see them whenever I roll the duct. <clears throat> You're not gonna see this one. <clears throat> now I'm gonna mark these lines by setting a square on the table and coming up to that line and draw them down. And again, I mark these lines where I can see them. Same thing over here. And I'm just going to take the square and draw these lines back here. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these two lines. I can cut these and make them butt edges, but there's a tool that Glassmaster makes, which is a number six tool, and also Amcraft makes a brown tool. What I'm going to do is just take and just cut the facing across to here. Now, if you notice, there's a staple right here. And if I don't cut it and take it out of the way, this tool here will hit it when I come in come through there. So you just got to put your knife underneath it and put your thumb on top of it so it pulls the staple out. And I'm going to do this line the same way. Now if I go to the end of the duct and set this tool down, that's, I'm going to keep the male and the females going in the same direction. So then I just take this and tool and set in there. And you see where the blade is actually connected right here underneath this fold in the, in the tool. And just slide it on through. Do the same thing here. And keep the tool down on top of the material because an inch and a half material thickness, thickness the tool has to set all the way down on it. Then I take and turn this duck over to the other side, and I got to do it the same way. And you notice when I turn this duck over, I just roll the duck. You can't flip it in for in because it messes up the male and females. But as long as I roll it, keep it rolling, it keeps the male females going in the same direction. Now I'm going to cut these, but I don't want to cut down through these miters here, or I'll cut through the male and the female. So what I want to do is run my knife out in it and then come back and go underneath it. And as I cut down, if you notice, the knife's not straight up and down, it's actually on an angle. And you cut that all the way to the bottom. Do this side the same way. 
and then just roll your duck over and do the same thing on this side. Put your knife out into the groove, bring it back underneath it. Same thing here. Then when this duck comes apart, you see it's got male and females and need to pop these corners off here because the duck's gonna be coming back that direction. And what I've done is, I just take this piece here and turn it over and shove the male and female together and bring this piece around here and shove it together. And that gives me that three-piece elbow. <clears throat> and all I have to do now is tape it together. What I want to do is, when I tape it, I want to put some tabs on the, the seam. So what I'm going to do is tear a piece off like this. Then I'm going to set it on here. And this helps hold it together while I'm taping it. Then when you, when you tape it up, you center the tape over that miter cut, let it go over the end about an inch, inch and a half, and rub these seams down. And you see when I rub it down, you can see the scrims come through the facing. And then I've got to turn it over. And do this side the same way. I start off with this piece here. Let that go over about an inch or an inch and a half. Then you have to tape these miters here. What I do first just pull off a piece so I can put a tab in here because you want one of these tabs on every, each side 12 inches on center so if the duck was real wide I'd have to have more than <clears throat> you'd have more than one of them tabs and again this goes a little bit over that makes them corners strong because they're actually double. And you notice by leaving by leaving four inches in here, if anybody was to hit that, there's enough insulation glued to that facing where it won't come apart. It'll stay in place. This side here I'll do the same way. And I'll just tear these tabs about this distance. Put these pieces on like this. And 
you notice I just put that tape in place and do most of the rubbing down with the squeegee. You don't have to rub it a lot of times, just put a lot of pressure on it to get it to uh, bond. But see, that gives us that three-piece elbow. And it can be used in a lot of places where if I had to have turning vanes, I might have to drive 20 miles back to the shop. This way here, it can be done on the job site. 